by 2050, an estimated 800 million people could be at risk from storm surge from extreme weather events. Coastal communities in the least developed countries and small island developing states are likely to be severely impacted, with women and girls especially hard hit. Our ocean and our planet are in peril. This equation is devastatingly simple. Climate risk plus ocean risk equals financial risk. Up to $8.4 trillion could be at risk to global companies in the coming decade if we don't recognize the risk that climate change poses. But this is not a problem for 30 years time. It is a problem for today. At the Ocean Risk and Resilience Action Alliance, we are focused on driving investment into coastal and marine natural capital mitigating risk and building resilience in communities adapting to climate change. We are an international alliance connecting finance and insurance, governments and environmental organizations. We're about scaling solutions, accelerating action from top down to bottom up and from the global south to the north. Through our Ocean Resilience Innovation Challenge, we're also nurturing grassroots solutions. One of the first winners was AFO in Tanzania. It's a community mangrove credit project that aims to establish a local voluntary carbon market to support coastal resilience and biodiversity by preventing further deforestation, encouraging reforestation and establishing an evergreen mangrove conservation fund. As well as on-the-ground projects, financial solutions are also key. Take the Mesoamerican Reef, a vitally important ecosystem stretching across the coasts of Mexico, Belize, Guatemala and Honduras. In a region where hurricanes put lives and property at risk, it provides critical protection against storm damage. A world-first coral reef insurance policy is based on a parametric concept that pays out a pre-agreed amount to a policyholder according to predefined event characteristics like peak storm wind speed, refined by the Mar Fund and insurance brokers Willis Towers Watson. Aura's work with the Mar Fund has been supported by the Canadian government. So there are early adopters in the private sector, but we know that there are more who want to come on board. And that is why we are calling on you to support the Back Blue Ocean Finance Commitment. Signing robust net zero commitments, driving financial system policy change, and investing in nature positive outcomes for the ocean. We are making progress, but we have to move further and faster. We have to move at scale. Whether you're a fisher in the Philippines or a banker on Wall Street, we are calling on you to back blue. We all have a role to play and we're all part of the solution. Investing and building resilience in climate vulnerable coastal communities at every level. Catalyzing, scaling, and accelerating investment. That's why I back blue, and it's why you should back blue as well.